Now suppose we have to solve for the relative price in equilibrium with trade. So what we have been doing till now is that there are two countries, home country, and uh, we are saying that it has a comparative advantage in uh, in wheat, so it is exporting wheat. And there is a foreign country. And we have been saying that it has a comparative advantage in, uh, in cloth, so it was exporting cloth. Right, exporting cloth. Now, how do we solve for the, e for the relative price in equilibrium with trade? So when the export of wheat by home is equal to the import of wheat by the foreign. So this is export of wheat by home is equal to the import of wheat by, by foreign, right? Import of wheat by foreign. So we need to derive the export supply curve for wheat first of all. And similarly, we will also demand, we will also uh, uh, derive the import demand curve of wheat by the foreign country, right? So let me just uh, write what the, or draw in fact, what the export supply curve is going to look like basically. Uh, so we're talking about the home country first. So we're talking about the home country first and you have QW here with QC here. And let us say this was my budget line initially and I was producing 150. This is the maximum what I can produce. My consumption is sitting here mm -hmm. my consumption for wheat is sitting out here let's say that is 50 let's say that is 50 and uh, the slope is what slope is equal to minus half or absolute value it is half Okay. Okay. Then you have wheat out here, and that is QW, you can say. And you have the relative price of wheat, PW by PC. Here, the relative price is, let's say, equal to half. Now, if you go in for the complete specialization, then you could have produced, I mean, home produces, what, 100 units. And uh, while it is consuming only 50, right? While it is consuming only 50. Well, so when the relative price of wheat is, is equal to half, it can actually export anything from zero to 50. It can actually export anything from 0 to 50. Fair enough. Okay. Now trade happens. The moment trade happens and this guy starts producing more of wheat. Home country starts producing more of wheat. Then what happens? That uh, the relative price of wheat is going to increase in the home country. And you will be sitting out here. Let's say here. Let's say here. So this is going to be the home consumption of wheat. Here. And these are my utilities, your community indifference curves, you can say. Okay. So what happens is that as the relative, and let's say this slope is uh, 
minus 2 by 3. So as the relative price of wheat is increasing, you can see that is here. Let's say it is 2 by 3. What is happening is that uh, home is producing um, and, and home is getting the specialization of wheat. So home is producing 100, but it is consuming less than 50. It is consuming less than 50. So higher is the price of wheat, lower is the consumption of wheat in the home country and higher would be the export supply and larger is are going to be the home exports. So you have something like this. This is what my home export supply curve is. Home export supply. So we look like this. Uh, so how do we go? about this thing, that is, what do we say about this is this, that what do you mean by the export supply curve? Uh, that is the amount of wheat that home wants to export at various relative prices. Amount of wheat which the home, ex home wants to export at various relative prices and also as your uh, relative price of wheat is increasing, then lower is going to be the home consumption and higher are going to be the home exports of wheat. So the higher the relative price, higher the relative price of wheat, the lower is the home consumption and larger are home exports of wheat. and larger are home exports of wheat, right? Then the import demand for wheat. What is going to be the import demand for wheat by the foreign country? So at the various relative prices, how much is the foreign country demanding uh, this guy, wheat? That is what it is. So for the foreign country, so you have QW, you have QC, and uh, let us say this was initially my PPF, 100, 100. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm foreign country is uh, consuming. And let me just put star here just to show this is for the foreign country. Foreign country is consuming, let's say, 50. Yeah. So A star. And here you have the slope of minus one. Now, what happens is that. Uh, The price of wheat is falling. The relative price of wheat is falling in the foreign country. So because of that, the demand for wheat is, let's say, increasing. You've done these graphs earlier, your production possibilities, consumption possibilities, and so on. So those are the same thing. Okay, I think I've put it very... Here. I'll put it here. Let me not make that that dramatic. Okay. Now I have it, I have it here. Let's see. 
60. These are my community indifference curves and the slope for this is minus 2.3, right? So when the relative price of wheat is, let's say, just one, so we are now driving the foreign import demand for wheat. Q, W star, whatever your relative price of wheat. So when the relative price of wheat was one, it can actually ask for any amount from zero to 50. No? And when the relative price of wheat falls to two by three, when the relative price of wheat falls to two by three, it has started asking for more. And if it keeps on falling, it will starting, it will start asking for more. Right? So this is what my foreign import demand for wheat. This is what my foreign import demand for wheat. So foreign imports all of its consumption of wheat. So it imports more when the price of wheat is going to be lower. It's a normal case, right? So you will be importing more when the price of wheat is lower. You will be exporting wheat when the relative price of wheat is more. Now, if I want to superimpose these two on each other, right? If I want to just superimpose these two on each other, I will be getting the equilibrium relative price, like two by three out here. So where the foreign import demand is equal to the foreign, uh, sorry, home export supply, that is the point of an equilibrium. for import demand. <clears throat> that is the point of an equilibrium. You have also done, <clears throat> you have also done uh, finding out the equilibrium relative price through the relative supply and the relative demand. So this is one another way of finding out the equilibrium relative price. Right, Bita? Okay. <clears throat> 